In this clip, we have a look at how hash partitioned indexes can reduce buffer busy weights. The problem is especially in large online transaction processing systems this. You have an index that is heavily used by multiple se simultaneous sessions that do insert and um, you get a hot spot on the right part of the index that way because there is the uh, most recent extent of that index with a limited number of index leaf blocks and all the new index entries must be inserted in order. So there is a heavy contention at this part of the index because of the many concurrent inserters that need to put their uh, index keys into the index leaf blocks, into the same index leaf blocks, into that limited number of index leaf blocks on the right part of that index. And now the nature of this problem is so that you cannot resolve it by just using very sophisticated and fast storage. Because what we compete here about is a logical resource. The index leaf blocks, the buffers that are busy and that we are waiting for, that problem doesn't go away with superior storage. So you need to do something to resolve the logical resource contention here. And this here, that is one solution of that problem with a hash partitioned index. Say for example we have 32 hash partitions here. The smaller black rectangles they stand for the hash partitions. Then we have roughly a 32 times reduced contention here. So that is roughly what we will see here in this clip in a moment. So here I am on my demonstration system. It's a Linux box and that is a 12C release 2 container database, but the shown technique could be used since Oracle 8. So it is by no means a new thing. I just create a ordinary table T and an ordinary index, nothing special about these two, and a sequence that is later used to provide the IDs. Then I create a little procedure that does many inserts, 10,000 inserts. And the next procedure that simulates uh, 100 sessions. So by calling that procedure, I invoke 100 sessions and each session does 10,000 inserts. Now I look with the top command for the job processes to start. And here you see them. CDB2, that is the name of my container database instance here. And I get 100 of these J processes here that are now doing each 10,000 inserts. Now, after a while, they are done. And I go back into the database same account as before 
and check for the number of entries in the t-table. One millionth, so that's done. And did that cause buffer busy weights? Yes. Here you see that a lot. 94,000 buffer busy weights. Now I'm going to do the same, but with a different kind of index. I empty the table again and then I create now a hash partitioned index. Thirty two hash partitions, and then I execute the same procedure that calls for the one hundred sessions again, like before. Now I could use top again, but I just look instead at the number of rows in the table T, so it happens the same this time also, of course. Just with reduced contention if everything works as desired. Now roughly half of the inserts have been done. And the next time now we see it's done, one million inserts. And now how many buffer busy weights did that cause? I see 32 lines now here because there's one line for each partition. So there are still buffer busy weights, but not as many as before. Instead of having one hot part, we have 32 warm parts, say. So the exact number of buffer busy weights compared to the previous 94,000s. I can also retrieve from Vidala segment statistics here by just summing the values of the 32 partitions. And here we see it's only 6,700. Good job. We reduce the contention to a large degree.